sir i am running sare sati i am in first phase of sare sati i am running second phase of sare sati i am in third phase of sare sati i am running saturn's antar dasha i am running saturn's mahadasha i am running saturn's pratyantar dasha i am running the dasha of a planet which is conjunct saturn i am running the transit of saturn in my ascendant my saturn is transiting the 6th house 8th house 12th house third house all saturn related queries is it becoming intolerable for you is saturn becoming intolerable is he <laughs> yeah it, it he becomes sometimes he had been very intolerable for me also maybe for many of you also well but the question here is how do you navigate through a terrible sare sati or a saturn dasha how do you navigate through? okay because the thing is saturn is the natural significator of the dustanas the 6th house 8th house 12th house and yesterday i had made a video on dustanas so imagine all three are getting activated simultaneously how miserable it is right so that's what sat that is exactly how saturn dasha feels sometimes it's like the 6th house troubles 8th house reversals and 12th house losses these are typical saturn characteristics all right so therefore today we shall discuss uh, what will happen uh, or rather how should you navigate through a terrible saturn period or a terrible saturn transit all right and i made many videos on saturn you can watch them i'll put here at the end all right god is there with you all the time even when you are running a bad saturn period just look to him and you'll find him okay if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to the channel below and if you want a consultation regarding your career marriage health or relationships you can go to my website down in the description section now what does saturn represent he represents misery in short lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita dukhalaya ma shashvatam napnu anti mahatmana <laughs> dukhalaya ma shashvatam means this world is a place of misery that's it krishna also says in bhagavad gita a brahma bhuvana loka punaravarti norjuna yes he says that which means uh, from the brahma loka where lord brahma resides which is the topmost planet within this universe within this material un materialistic universe or material universe <laughs> where he resides that is known as satya loka so krishna says a brahma bhuva na loka which means bhuva loka bhu loka satya loka all these like the 14 planetary systems these are just simply places of misery my god what is krishna telling we thought heaven is a place of enjoyment right but according to krishna it is a place of suffering why because these 14 planetary systems as krishna says in the gita na chinne punya marte lokam vishanti which means chinne punya when your piety is exhausted marte lokam vishanti you come back to the mrityu loka which is this buloka earthly realm okay in the earth you come back here so even if you were in the heavens you won't stay there eternally even indra himself does not stay there eternally right he stays for one one month or 71 divya yugas all right which is a very long time span according to human calculation but even he doesn't stay for eternity okay so that is why they are known as amara now you may think oh but amara means one who doesn't die right no actually not amar doesn't mean one who is immortal amara means one who stays for one man mantra okay and then we have the chiranjeevis who stay for one day of brahma which is you know, 14 manus 14 manvantaras they stay and then we have nityas nityas are eternal all right they have been eternally existing who are nityas the residents of the spiritual world vaikuntha which is beyond the 14 planetary systems all right now you may be thinking why am i saying all this right <laughs> is it like a consolation prize or oh, denizens of the heaven are also miserable so we are also miserable well not in that context krishna says this in the ultimate context which means even if you go there you will enjoy for some time materially uh, 
like uh, high levels of sensual pleasure emotional pleasure intellectual pleasure sexual pleasure it's much 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 higher in the heavens and if you go higher it's even higher right in the brahma loka the bodies are made of intelligence can you believe it just made of intelligence it doesn't have any gross substance but why does krishna say it is miserable because even if you are there within these 14 planetary systems or why why the ones above there are planets like planetary systems below the bhuloka for example atal vital sutal patal talatal mahatal these are places right patal is the last but even there there is sutala sutala is it's like a underwater heavenly planet it's more opulent than swarga right but according to lord krishna he is telling all these are sources of misery why because whatever you get either you are in bhuloka or sutala or brahma loka or you are in swarga loka it is full of misery because it is materially bound and materially bound means it is bound to be exhausted one day okay there is a limitation you cannot do it unlimitedly and you cannot do it for eternity okay that's what is the problem so therefore the same trait is reinstantiated in this material world uh in bhuloka i mean right where we are staying currently because here also see what what is saturn saturn is the sixth house right delays setbacks uh, or not setbacks or delays disappointments or you no know, as in hindi they say na ghis ghis ke hona ragar ragar ke ghis ghis ke phir bhi nahi hona kabhi kabhar ho jata hai फिर भी नहीं होता है ओके okay भी नहीं हुआ इट्स लाइक दैट इट्स डन बट स्टिल नॉट डन और वेरी हाई रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज आल्सो द सिक्स्थ हाउस ओके सो दी दीस आर ऑल टिपिकल सैटर्न ट्रेड्स ओके एनी एथ हाउस वी नो इज रिवर्सल सो देयरफॉर इन सैटर्न दशा यू माइट फील दैट ऑल दीस दुस्थानास आर गेटिंग एक्टिवेटेड साइमल्टेनियसली sorry to say but irrespective of where saturn is placed sorry to say that why because he was he is and he will always be saturn right saturn represents the sins of your past right your past karma your sins now of course he doesn't only represent sin he also represents hard work and he's the um significator of the dashamsha chart is the karaka for the d10 chart which shows profession career opportunities and he is also the karaka for the 10th house right along with sun mercury now which is the house of name fame uh, actually it's the house of perseverance okay so uh, i mean 10th house is the house of name fame but the saturnian aspect is of perseverance so he represents all these things but you have to understand that um he represents all this through some miserable experience right so uh, imagine jupiter is there jupiter is like the guru comes and tells you oh this is good this is bad don't do this don't do that you understand right first class learning then there is second class learning which means oh i heard from the guru i heard from vyasdev from the sages rishis uh but it doesn't quite seem to be logical or maybe it will not happen to me have you seen people telling nahi hamare sath nahi ho rahe hamare sath nahi hoga hamare sath to kabhi nahi hoga sabke sath hoga hamare sath nahi hoga it will not happen to us it will happen to every but then what happens you suddenly see oh this happened to this person my god maybe it will happen iske sath hua to mere sath bhi hoga that is like second class learning okay second second grade second grade learning means you listen but you don't believe you see through your eyes you see others are suffering and then you are convinced oh yeah 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 maybe i'll also suffer so i should stop you know ye duba to main bhi dubunga ye problem mein gaya to main bhi jaunga so i should stay away from it and then there is third class learning <laughs> third class yes no people they will see Uh, they will hear they will not believe they will see others are also dying they will not believe it they will think oh i am exception apne sath to kabhi nahi hoga then they themselves experience and then they suffer miserably 
this is the category of Saturn. Okay. So therefore, if you are feeling very miserable during a Saturn Dasha, then it can very well happen that you are, I'm not saying you are necessarily learning in a third class manner, but it could happen that there is something within you who already knows that something is not for you. But still, maybe somebody told you also, this is not for you. And deep down inside also, you know, you have seen other people also feeling at it. Or maybe you know, you are convinced that maybe this is not for me, but due to some superficial reason, you know, lack of confidence or fear of society or something, you are pretending to be somebody else, right? So then what happens is, you will be forced to learn via experience. So therefore, irrespective of your karma, what you can do during Saturn Dasha or Sade Sati is that, or what you should do rather, because there are so many things you can do. But then the question is, what, what is that which you should do? Okay. What you should do, irrespective of where your Saturn is, either is exalted, debilitated or in Arustan, you have to check from the past, was I warned by somebody or maybe the scriptures that you should not do this? It may not be something sinful, but it could also be something related to your nature. For example, you know, many times in Saturn Dasha, they feel uh, their career has become very challenging, right? Why? Not that suddenly career has become very challenging, but they always knew that they should not have been staying in this career. They should have not gone in this career in the first place, but then they didn't listen. They ignored that gut feeling. And they saw other people who did not want to go into this career and they went and then they suffered. But that was like second second class learning. That also was not sufficient. So now they have to go through this third class learning, which means they themselves have to ex experience. Okay. Therefore, when Saturn Dasha or Sade Sati is going on, go and check in the past. Did you ignore some red flags? Should I repeat? Did you ignore those red flags? <laughs> Generally, during Saturn's Dasha, you get the red flags in the beginning, always. This is in terms of career, health, relationships, anything. And Saturn is, by the way, the natural significator of diseases. Okay. So, uh, the thing is, um, because he represents diseases, so it's very likely that in Saturn, Dasha, people fall uh, sick for no reason. And if Saturn is linked with good houses, like he's the fifth lord or in the ninth house or in the eleventh house, then you will get the cure also, right? You will not be sick all the time, okay? Mm, but then the thing is, why did you fall sick in the first place? You go to the doctor and the doctor tells you, oh, sir, madam, this is the problem. So you have to go and check, did somebody warn me regarding this? Or did was there some voice which you ignored within yourself? You will always find it, all right? So... Therefore, during Saturn, the shower Sade Sati, if you feel things are becoming intolerable, it is an indication that you, you have forced your karma or whatever, you have forced Saturn to teach you the lesson the hard way. Okay. So therefore, see what is going on in your life and try to ponder upon when was I warned by the universe, by the scriptures or by some guru or some friend that you are in the wrong place, but I did not listen. And then you can try to see how has how did other people come out of this situation, right? Like for example, uh, there was a person who was in Sat Saturn Dasha and he was having a very difficult time in IT, like programming. And then I told him that you should not be in IT; you should be into you know marketing, advertising, and all this. And then, and then he told me, but sir, how will I do? And then I told, is there somebody within your friend circle or society who has made similar shift? Then he said, that, oh, yeah, there's one person I know. And I said, yes, very good. Why not go and talk to that person, right? Or 
you can also uh, search in youtube how do you change your stream this is just an example i am trying to tell you because it's not late yet right because if you if you continue doing that which you are not supposed to then at the end you will become much more miserable than you should have been right so therefore and especially in terms of relationships all the time this happens i have seen i meet some people who tell me uh, during con consultations oh yeah she was like this he was like this in the beginning and this was a big problem between us but then i ignored it i thought things will change he or she will change because i want them to write but that didn't happen and now the relationship is on the verge of collapse right so therefore understand first why it is becoming intolerable do not fight the lesson fight the root cause okay if you fight the lesson if you fight the uh, the experience then you will become more miserable but indeed if you fight the root cause why at all you came to this situation then actually you will be able to make very good progress then you will be able to make saturn dasha sare sati or any other transit of saturn reasonably tolerable right but i hate to say this do not forget irrespective of where saturn is however he is placed he is yog karak he is lagna lord he is ninth lord fifth lord tenth lord whoever he is wherever he is however he is who is conjunct with he is with friends with enemies but he was he is and he will always be the dreaded saturn do not forget this right now why am i telling that he is the dreaded saturn which means there will always be challenges during saturn dasha do not expect that there will be no problem don't expect this because if you expect this by saying fancy stuff in youtube oh saturn is this great planet of transformation saturn gives you this that saturn will reward you oh, my god if you hear if uh, i hear some lectures in youtube i feel wow saturn is a greater benefit than jupiter also right oh, maybe in some cases <laughs> but in general one thing is very clear you will encounter struggles difficulties and challenges now the placement of saturn will tell you will you succumb to those difficulties or become a better person by enduring those okay but if somebody says that saturn doesn't give difficulties that person is a liar okay never ever ever say that so this is to make the person realistic because one side is oh like in india you know so many astrologers they say shani aa gaya tera kuch nahi hoga you are done tu marega bhi no it's not like that now on the other hand i see in youtube modern uh, liberal astrologers who say oh don't fear saturn saturn is nothing you know he will not do anything to no it's not like that the thing is you will encounter challenges and troubles but it will depend on you and your uh, capacity to maneuver through them okay so if you put the hard work if you do what saturn wants if you listen to your inner voice then you will emerge victorious and you will become a better person a stronger person so then indeed saturn gives you you can say saturn gave you some challenges but if you don't if you're lazy you will succumb to it and you will fall right so therefore remember that during saturn dasha you have to fight fight marna padega <laughs> all right so without fighting it will not happen fighting or rather, rather i would say persisting persevering all right patience tenacity all this is the need of the hour all right and once you do that then you will be gradually able to uh, go through it but provided you keep in mind the lesson which you ignored when your sare sati or saturn dasha started all right that will be all from my side ladies and gentlemen other videos on saturn i'll put it here and if you want a consultation please go to my website down in the description section and if you're new to the channel please subscribe to it down below all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him hopefully or at least in the beach <laughs>